Hi, Luciano Fersen from Nuke Chili Heads or any UK Chili Heads. Back again for my little cracky experiment. Most of you will have seen this before. Two plants from the same seeds. They were given to me as Chiero Roxa, but somebody's came on and said that they're not Chiero Roxa, which, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me because for some reason the pods on this plant to the left are doing strange things when ripening. They go from purple to a peachy colour to a then greeny colour. Let's see if I can find one. Not a very good camera. There's a purple. There's one gone where well, it's gone green. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's slightly peachy. But yeah, and then they turn red. There's one light green. So they go from purple to that. So yeah, there's a good possibility that they're not here or Roxa. There's one that's a peachy colourish. But anyway, this has been grown in a cracky system. And I didn't pH balance this box. It's at pH 8.8 .8 at the moment. And as you can see, it didn't grow like a normal Chiro or Roxa. It shot up, it went huge. Like that. And the pods are basically pretty much too big for a Chiro or Roxa. And they're doing the wrong strange things. Over to the other plant, which is same thing, same seeds, in a cracky box again. The only difference with this one is it has been pH balanced, and its pH dropped down to 6.2 with the use of deionized water, because my water's too hard to alter the pH. And you can see this one grew right, it's just a little bushy plant, and the pods are all little correct shape pods for a Chiro Roxa. I haven't had any of them ripen on this plant yet, it seems to be well behind the other plant. But there is some starting to go peach, just in that. So I feel it'll still go red, because like somebody in the group says, I think it's a crossbreed. The seeds were given to me from Elio Cortez Perez. But what I was mainly wanting to show you is the effects that pH has on the plant's growth, pod size, and even the pod shape. They all change. And that one, they're all perfect. Anyway, that was me cracky experiment and the effects of pH, which is thanks to Andrew Higginbottom for giving me the idea of running them at two different pH. So anyway, please click like and also subscribe to the channel and I'll say goodbye.